Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of additive and multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 1 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got data set one, we've got data set two. The tables look kind of similar. At least look at the X's are similar in both, right? If you go from zero to four in both, difference is going to be the Y's. The Y's are definitely different. So we need to find uh, the, the correct relationship between X and Y in each data sets. And so let's just check our answers here, all right? So I'm going to use you know what, for data set one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with X and Y. Let's just start with zero, zero. Just start with the easiest one. And for data set two, start with zero and four. So that's going to be very helpful. Because uh, when we start working with that zero, that's going to make these statements true or false really easily all right so in data set one y is three more than x so they're additive relationships we're going to add okay so we're going to say y a says y equals three plus x yeah how's that going to work y is zero equals three plus zero no data set uh, 2, y is 4 more than x. y equals 4 plus x is what it's saying. And so 4 equals 4 plus... I'm just substituting in my x and my y. Now that looks good. Uh, I do think this is good for data set 2. It's not good for data set 1. Okay, both data sets show multiplicative probably not going to work because data set 2 looks additive. But let's see. Data set 1, y equals 4 times x. Okay, so y equals 4x, which means 0 equals 4 times 0. Yeah, that looks pretty good. But then we've got in data set uh, 2, y is 2 times x. y equals 2x. So 4 equals 2 times 0. No. So I kind of like this first one here, but not the second one. So let's see if we can find that mix here. C. So I'm just going to kind of draw a line so we can kind of keep track of where we're working. Data set 1 shows a multiplicative relationship in, in, in which y is 4x. y equals 4x is what we just did. So y0 equals 4 times 0. That looks good. Data set 2 shows an additive relationship when y is 4 more than x. That's the first one. y equals 4 plus x. So 4 equals 4 plus x. I think so. Now let's go and extend it. Let's just do the last one of each. 4 and 16. And let's do 4 and 8. Okay. Could have gotten a false positive. So y equals 4x, so we're going to say 16 is my y equals 4 times 4. Still correct. And then my 8 equals 4 plus my x of 4. Still correct. All right, I'm thinking c is correct. Let's check d. Uh, data set 1 shows an additive relationship in which y is 12 more. So y equals 12 plus x. This is d right here. And so I'm looking at my first zero. Zero equals 12 plus, no, that's not going to work. It works for the last one, but it doesn't work for that first one. And they say data set 2 is multiplicative. Y is 2 times x. Y equals 2x. So my y of 4 is supposed to equal 2 times 0. No. Works for the last one. Doesn't work for the first one. So D is incorrect as well. My answer here is going to be C.